السلام علیکم مریم ویلکم سلام جویریا تھینک یو سو مچ فار کمنگ ہیئر سو مریم آپ کے ساتھ جو میری جرنی ہے اس کے بارے میں تھوڑا سی بات کرتے ہیں دین ویل جمپ رائٹ ان ٹو سم ڈیفیکلٹ کوشچنس رائٹ ٹھیک سو ایروپیا کو جب میں نے اسٹارٹ کیا تھا بیک ان ٹو تھاؤزنڈ فورٹین آئی اینڈ ایک بس سوچ تھی چھوٹی سی کہ اسکولس میں بچوں کو رسپیکٹ کیوں نہیں کیا جاتا جس طرح کرنا چاہیے بیکاز آئی تھنک آئی واز کمنگ فرام اے پوائنٹ آف بینگ اے اسٹوڈنٹ ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم اینڈ آئی فیل اسٹرانگلی اباؤٹ اٹ کہ یو نو جس طرح ہمیں سبجیکٹ کیا گیا ٹو اے لاٹ آف تھنگز ایٹ دا اسکول واز دیٹ اوکے واز دیٹ ناٹ اوکے کین مور بی ڈن ایٹ اسکولس تو وہاں سے ہم نے اسٹارٹ کیا اور ہماری ایک جرنی چلتی رہی اینڈ فاسٹ فارورڈ مینی ایئرس آئی گاٹ ٹو نو میں میں میٹرنٹی لیو پہ تھی تو مجھے میرے ہسبینڈ نے کہا کہ دیر از سم مریم جس کی جن کی وجہ سے نا بہت زیادہ اور پیرنٹس کی ریکمنڈیشن ان کی ریکمنڈیشن میں بہت سارے اور پیرنٹس آ رہے ہیں سو ہو از شی میں مجھے تو نہیں پتا آئی ڈونٹ نو آف اینی مریم اینڈ اس ٹائم بس وہ بات آئی گئی ہو گئی اینڈ بار بار یو نو وین دس بی کیم اے پیٹرن سو آئی لک ٹو یو آپ اینڈ آئی لک ٹیٹ یو ورک اینڈ لائک اوکے دیٹس انٹرسٹنگ یو نو آئی کوڈ سی کہ بہت زیادہ سملیرٹیز اینڈ واٹ وی ہیو بین ڈوئنگ اینڈ واٹ یو ہیو بین ٹاکنگ ٹو پیرنٹس اباؤٹ اینڈ دین دیکھتے دیکھتے واٹ آئی فیلٹ اینڈ آئی آلسو سینٹ یور وائس نوٹ اباؤٹ اٹ از کہ مریم یو آر اے موومنٹ یو یو آر اے موومنٹ آف یور اون اینڈ دس از ناٹ جسٹ سم تھنگ دیٹ ہیپنس ویری آفن بٹ آئی واز سو ہیپی ٹو سی واٹ یو ویئر ڈوئنگ سنگل ہینڈیڈلی فار دا پیرنٹس ان پیرنٹ کمیونٹی ان جنرل ان پاکستان ایون انٹرنیشنلی ایکسپیکٹ کمیونٹی میں نا لاٹ آف پیپل آر ڈوئنگ واٹ یو ڈوئنگ رائٹ امپاورنگ پیرنٹس اینڈ ٹیلنگ دیم کہ ہمارے کون سے جنریشنل پیٹرنس ہیں جن کو ہم نے بریک کر کے وی ہیو ٹو بیکم بیٹر پیرنٹس ٹو ڈو جسٹس ٹو آر چلڈرن سو آئی مین آئی واز ان آ کہ سم ون لائک یو ہیز اینڈیڈ اپ بینگ ود آس بیکاز آئی تھنک دیٹ میکس اس اے ویری گڈ ٹیم بٹ جسٹ ٹیل اس اے لٹل بٹ اباؤٹ یور ورک بریفلی لائک ان اے ورڈ ٹو واٹ از یور مشن واٹس یور ویژن اینڈ دین ویل موو فارورڈ فرام دیئر آئی تھنک یا آئی تھنک اٹس سو سر اٹ امپیشیس I probably got that wrong, the pronunciation, but it's fine. <laughs> that uh, we ended up here, we ended up together because I, because I, when I would tell parents about this kind of education to, uh, you know, give children respect and freedom, even around academics, especially around academics, they would say, Pakistan mein toh aisa kuch hai nahi, you know? So then I started looking up uh, resources for them. And that's how I found uh, your school, Edopia. And I was so excited that I wrote you an email. I don't know if you remember, but I wrote you an email To, this is three, four years ago, you know, before I ever knew I would move to Pakistan. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe someone is doing this in Pakistan. It just made me yes. so excited <laughs> and so happy. And so, yeah, for our, for me to finally move to Pakistan and right away, I was like, yeah, my kids are going to Adopia. And people were like, no, but aapke ghar ke kareeb. I was like, no, my kids are going to Adopia, <laughs> you know? So um, it's, it's just, it's been such a beautiful convergence of our paths. So uh, I, that is pretty much, I think, how I got started the way you did. Like just this reflection of, the way that I am treat I want to treat my kids uh, that is not how I'm treating them like despite mm-hmm. myself you know I have this idea mm-hmm. I was never one of those parents who thought but when I found myself doing it I was like mm, something else is at play here mm-hmm. you know and so that's why that comes in what you said about those those uh, generations of parenting doing the same thing over and over and that's all we know we know what's our default setting right yeah. so that's where i kind of started to learn and share and at first people were like tum pakistani ko nahi badal sakti pakistani nahi badlenge <laughs> <laughs> like i'm in the us right yeah. and pakistani expatriates at least in the us have this sort of othering thing going yeah. on ke you know nahi pakistan wale jo pakistani hai na unko to tum nahi badal sakti and i was like no but those are the ones i really want to change because yeah. wo jo hum uh, idhar hain expatriates we have other resources we have other influences But in Pakistan, I want to make a difference. And like everything else is history, right? Mm. Like look at the amazing response we get. And we know that parents want to do different. You know, they want to do differently. Absolutely. And I think that um, wherever we have so many groups now, social media, everyone is trying to come to help each other out, right? And it just, I mean, like I get so happy whenever something comes up, where someone is struggling with parenting, they want to be a better parent. Sahati likha tha Maria Munir, you know, join this group, Maria Munir, you know. So, mashallah, the work is satkai jariya on its own and it's amazing, you know. But um, I want to make this podcast about things that you hardly ever talk about, okay. you know, because I know that you have, you have been an advocate for something and you have been so out there for it, right? Um, you have your videos, you have your trainings, you are one-on-one meeting people, meeting people in groups. You're doing stuff just to 
make sure that people understand some principles that you have understood perhaps the hard way like you're making unke liye aap aasaniyan banana cha rahi hain but i'm sure there would be something you know jisko aapko hota hoga ki no matter how loud i get about it ya yeah, no matter main kis koi bhi channel use kar rahi hu abhi tak wo baat na samajh nahi pa rahe log so are there any two things that you want to perhaps identify ke kaash main inko aise bolu ke bas logon ko samajh aa jaye you know your pain points do you have any <laughs> Yeah I think I think our first pain point is always just having the lens change because even when people want to do better when parents want to do better they're still caught up in those old ideas mm-hmm. of uh, obedience mm-hmm. being superior theek hai yani jo bachcha baat sunta hai wo hi acha hota hai whereas respectful parenting does not necessarily mean to raise uh, blindly obedient children mm-hmm. you know we understand like one question i ask people in workshops is tell me the qualities of change makers koi shakhs hai jisne duniya badli hai aap mujhe uski qualities bataye think of whoever they list all these qualities usme kabhi bhi compliance or obedience nahi hota never right yeah. and that's when they kind of have like a eye open <laughs> and, and 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 i and i get it and i say to them i know right i know what this means that your life is harder like it's inconvenient Yeah. Uh, you were hoping that you came here and I'm going to teach you things and you're going to walk away <laughs> uh, like uh, your kids are going to listen to you you know you're going to know exactly how to make them listen so that part is always hard and no matter how much they change their thinking and their approach baat yahan pe aake ruk jati hai because hamari jo conditioning hai wo itni strong hai ki acha bachcha wohi hota hai jo baat na sun baat sunta ho to bacche to raising children respectfully means giving them a voice yeah. you know allowing them to have a voice and they have a very dysregulated voice of Often, right yeah. their brains are developing they don't say mama well you know when i think about what you say it makes a lot of sense <laughs> but i do have some disagreements yeah. and here they are in yeah. bullet points you know that's not how they talk they're like mama i hate you <laughs> you know or like baba that's not fair you know <laughs> that's how they talk so ekdam hamare zehen mein aata hai that disrespect yeah. right so that's a big question i keep getting over and over ke is tarah hum batmeez bachche to nahi raise kar rahe hain aur is tarah hum soft bachche to nahi inko inko to log batmeez kahenge inko to ye hoga you know so that's that i think is a big one that keeps recurring absolutely absolutely and i mean i love the way you say it ke change makers say they were not really you know just obedient but then again you know like क्योंकि हमारे पास भी वही सवाल आते हैं जो आई थिंक आपके पास आते हैं हमारे पास एक डिफरेंट फोरम के थ्रू आ रहे होते हैं एंड इट्स लाइक अ कलेक्टिव ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दैट वी आर वर्किंग विद सो आई एम वेरी फेमिलियर विद दीज वॉइस राइट कि हम बच्चों को इतना ज़्यादा आज़ादी दे दी या बच्चों को इतना ज़्यादा सर पर चढ़ा दिया इज़ द वर्ड दैट यू यूज़ के फिर वो तो किसी के काबू में नहीं आएंगे वो तो हाथ से निकल जाएंगे राइट सो क्या रिस्पेक्टफुल पेरेंटिंग में इज़ देर एनी वे यू ड्रॉ लाइन लाइक वट आर द निगोशियबल्स एंड नॉन निगोशियबल्स इन रिस्पेक्टफुल पेरेंटिंग I think having your own boundaries is always a non-negotiable. Like me as a parent, you as a teacher, we have our boundaries, and should all, all humans should have boundaries. And actually, research tells us that people who are the kindest and most empathetic in a sustainable way, mm. they have very good boundaries. ठीक है इसका ये मतलब है कि अगर मेरा दिल नहीं चाह रहा कुछ करने का दिल नहीं चाह रहा से मुराद है कि आई एम टायर्ड आई एम एग्जॉस्टेड वट एवर इट इज दैट्स हैपनिंग फॉर मी आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ बाउंड्री फॉर माई सेल्फ दैट दिस इज नॉट अलाउड ठीक है इसी तरह बाइंग थिंग्स आई एम गना से नो यू नो एंड आई एम गना से नो विदाउट गिल्ट बिकॉज आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज बाउंड्रीज आर ऑल्सो अ फॉर्म ऑफ लव क्योंकि फिर होता है आप येस कह देते हैं और बाद में यू फील रिजेंटफुल यू नो सो लाइक माई डॉटर हैज़ बिन आस्किंग मी फॉर अ कैट फॉर ईयर्स एंड आई नो दैट वन द कैट कम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एम वर्ड बाय द कैट हैविंग थ्री चिल्ड्रेन picking you up all the time like i i feel bad i'd feel bad for yeah. the cat you know secondly i i don't want to take care of a cat yeah. you know and my daughter as much as bless her heart says that i will take care of her she's no. eight yeah. so i have to be wise about whether that's realistic yeah. so ab main usko cat lene dun aur phir jab wo cat ke sath ka khayal na rakh paaye which yeah. is not possible for a eight year old to phir main usi ko daantu yeah. usi se naraz usi you told me no it's my job as her mom to know what she is and isn't capable of right mm-hmm. so th- that's where a hard no is going to come right now some things are negotiable for me academics is always where I want to listen to their voices because mm-hmm. it's important to me that they sustain their love of learning mm-hmm. right so that's something we talk about ke acha what's okay how much can you do can you do a little bit more mm-hmm. you know i stay in touch with the teachers ke my teachers se bhi puchi rehti what is most important mm-hmm. like let's do that but it's not something that i want to have control over mm-hmm. because these are not my academics this is their academics mm-hmm. you know this is their journey yeah. does that make sense absolutely <laughs> it does to me um 
एंड आई जस्ट फील लाइक यू नो बाउंड्रीज वाली जैसे आपने बात की है डू यू थिंक दैट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी पर्सनल डिसीजन वेर यू ड्रॉ द बाउंड्री और आर देर लाइक एनी आई वॉन्ट से हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल्स बिकॉज पेरेंटिंग डजेंट हैव हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल्स बट लाइक बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपीरियंस आर देर एनी बाउंड्रीज दैट शुड बी ड्रॉन लाइक एज अ गिवन वेन इट कम्स फ्राम द लिटरेचर ऑफ रिस्पेक्टफुल पेरेंटिंग या विल इट ऑलवेज बी अ डिसीजन that people take as a family as adults initially and then like a shared decision between the members of the family boundaries yeah that's a really good question so i think you're saying like is there a guideline hmm. that this is definitely i think safety is one safety is totally non negotiable when it comes to boundaries hmm. if you think something is not safe for your child uh, we're going to say no to that always Absolutely. right and yeah. so the safety could be related to let's say bedtime hmm. like you all i say is observe your child because every child is different theek mm-hmm. hai so if somebody can go to bed at 9 pm and wake up and be pretty fresh mm-hmm. you know but uh, another child can go to sleep at 9 and it's too late for them mm-hmm. so we need to move up the bedtime for maybe 8:30 8 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. but at the end of the day we have to observe the child because mm-hmm. uh, bachche jo hain they will say especially after they reach a certain age they're just resistant to sleep and they're like especially if they see everybody else is yeah. awake right and so that needs to be something that we can help uh them um you know still i wouldn't do it and i like bus bed time ho gaya and so you know like i can help you fall asleep yeah. you know it's okay i can help you relax i can help you calm down that kind of thing yeah. right isi tarah i mean it's as simple as if your toddler is Uh, you know running off on the road you're not going to ask her opinion about whether you should stop her or not <laughs> you're going to stop her yeah, right yeah. so that's where even i tell parents and they're surprised by this that even if you have to use gentle force hmm. it's okay hmm. uh, and people are always surprised really like we can touch them and i say like yeah it's not ideal yeah. but imagine when you go to see a doctor yeah. and sometimes they do have to hold you sometimes they do have to touch you and yeah. the only thing is they tell you yeah. they say like now i'm going to touch you now i'm going to hold down your hand yeah. now i'm going to you know i might have to strap you in etc you're going inside an mri machine yeah. you know whatever it is so it's gentle force that's done with uh, providing information i'm sorry i'm going to have mm. to hold you i'm sorry i'm going to have to take you out of the bed you're having problems getting out of the bed you're struggling i'm just going to take you out help you that mm. sort of thing and they can tell the difference between that gentle force and wo jo hoti hai na ki main tumhe nikal like you know they can tell the difference under that uska aur ek Yeah, yeah. I, absolutely. And beyond safety, do you think the boundaries are based on what a family's values are? Like, how how does it work? Like beyond safety, क्या हम कहेंगे कि आपके जो family का culture आप preserve करना चाह रहे हैं उसके ऊपर बनती हैं values या boundaries sorry या values के ऊपर बनती हैं boundaries या Yeah, so like I think parents of teenagers often ask me these kind of hmm. questions because they can see that their teens are wanting to do some things that are not aligning with hmm. their family values or what they perceive to be their family values. Hmm. And I have found that uh, teens, just like all other ages, are actually wanting they 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 have that sense of belonging with the family, which is hmm. important. तो पहला तो मैं ये कहूंगी कि अगर किसी को बहुत मुश्किल पेश आ रही है ना कि उनका टीन एजर या बड़ा बच्चा बिल्कुल भी वैल्यूज नहीं वैल्यू कर पा रहा आई थिंक देर इज समथिंग मिसिंग विद द बिलोंगिंग मतलब आई आई वुड पे मोर अटेंशन टू द कनेक्शन एंड द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट द पेरेंट चाइल्ड हैव रादर देन गोइंग फॉर द बाउंड्री यस एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज़ इन माय एक्सपीरियंस चिल्ड्रन आर एक्सट्रीमली स्मार्ट आई मीन थिंक ऑफ योरसेल्फ एज़ वेल एंड व्हेन आई थिंक ऑफ माइसेल्फ एज़ अ टीन एजर कि आप थोड़ी-थोड़ी बाउंड्रीज तो पुश करते हैं आप थोड़ी चीजें एक्सप्लोर दैट रिस्क टेकिंग बिहेवियर इज नॉर्मल पार्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ब्रेन डेवलपमेंट teenagers but at the end of the day you know your family's values mm. and you want to respect them to the best of your ability you do want to respect them yeah. so if that's if you're not able to that means something else is happening so i'd be curious rather than uh, ke bas aur sakti you know come down with yeah. the the your know, gauntlet kind of thing and the second thing is uh, when we have conversations with teens so uh, this is like i coach a mother or parent of a teen ke is tarah se aap baat kare like a sort of problem solving listen active listening like oh so this is what you're wanting and well this is my issue you know mm. so problem solving is where the parent is sharing her problem so she is saying i i understand that you want to wear a shorter skirt to mm. the parties theek mm. hai in my my problem is that this is not how i was raised and it makes me very uncomfortable mm. so what can we do about this mm. Mm. so the focus is that the, this is definitely the parent's problem this is not the child's problem because as far as she is concerned she'd wear the skirt she'd leave mm. so she usually responds by saying yes i ठीक है आई अंडरस्टैंड मॉम दैट दिस इज समथिंग यू नीड बट आई ऑल्सो लाइक आई डोंट वांट अ मैं पेंडू नहीं लगना चाहिए ना हां मतलब 
and then the mom says oh yeah that's important fitting in is important when you're a teen yeah. we can't deny that you know she the mom is not going to give a lecture about nahi but you should be so strong mm. it shouldn't matter what other people say we still care what other people say <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like how the hypocrisy can, of it you know? right we can't tell a teenager yeah. don't care what people say like yeah. they're all about what people say yeah. what peers say so one such conversation happened where the, the we allow the child to kind of um, share her perspective and so she ended up saying can i have a party at my house with girls only where i can wear whatever mm. i want and the mom was like yeah i'm fine mm. with that that mm. that works mm. right so this way we can uh, you know kind of have these conversations where we're at least trying to understand what the teenager is saying but this mom when she came to me her first idea was ke meri beti mujhe aise keh rahi hai iska matlab hai ki ye to kharab ho gayi hai you know <laughs> so yeah. that fear comes in and so just acknowledging those fears ki yes they're there for a reason but have a little trust also in you know in your child absolutely and um ye wali jo aapne baat ki hai na ke teenagers you know and how they have these desires the way you know often when i talk to parents is ki main kehti hu ke can we create a similar experience by having an alternate you know ki kya aap kisi aur source ke through you know, can you feel the same if it is like something to do with your self esteem or something are there other ways to achieve it you know let's brainstorm and all but you're right but that will only happen if the connection or the relationship is there to start off with and then we can build on top of it which kind of um takes me to this notion or a thought that i often have and i will just pick your brain on it ki developmentally right you're talking about children starting off as babies going off all the way till teenagers and then they leave your nest you know this is the entire journey that you have uh, with the parent living with uh, child living with you and uske baad to obviously you still remain a parent a parent remains mm-hmm. a parent till they pass on lekin ye wale bahut zyada years jo hote hain that's and those are the years where the children need you mm-hmm. and um, you have to play a very active uh, a differently active role in their parenting so is time par are there any guidelines in terms of the developmental stages that they are going through because kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki teenage mein kuch aisa manifest ho raha hota hai jiska masla start shayad tha hua tha when they were babies or toddlers and you know there's so much unlearning that needs to happen there's so much healing that needs to happen for us to build that relationship all over again so in terms of the phases of a child's life as they're spending that time at home as um, you know children and then as a uh, young adults kya kya cheezein karni chahiye during these stages starting off from a baby then a toddler then a preschooler so on and so forth that will ensure that our connection with our children remains strong yeah so you're saying that through the different ages like what yeah. might the connection look like yeah and, and how do we uh, ensure that you know we checklist type ke ki ye cheeze hum at least kare to ensure yeah. ki hamara connection acha rahe this is a really this is a the answer to this question is very simple that's mm. a good thing but <laughs> simple is not easy right yeah. uh, and observing our children is one of the best things that we can do which will wo khud se hi hame dikhate hain bachche hame khud se dikhate hain ki unko ab kya chahiye mm. right just like a in an infant one of my favorite books about respectful parenting is actually on infants it's called your self confident baby by magda gerber and it's about infants and because that's where respect begins right so even yeah. an infant will show you i'm hungry now yeah. i need a hug now i need a diaper change now i need to be held right and so we just have to be observing those cues those are the best thing like someone who witnesses you someone who's like a very loving compassionate witness that is such a gift yeah. that is the best gift parents can give their children and so when we're doing this we can see what they need from us so like we see that once the infant is a little bit older they want to eat right the mm-hmm. food is very interesting for them and they will pick up something they'll put it in their mouth and so that's what kind of baby led weaning mm-hmm. is right? Right. and uh, then they then they become one plus and food is not so interesting anymore so yesterday is and they're so they're not interested in food mm-hmm. and we as parents are like nahi lekin ye to kuch kha hi nahi rahi hai you know so sort of <laughs> <laughs> but th- that's again developmental and normal yeah. and they're not interested in food they're interested in other things they've just developed they found out how to walk and yeah. talk and so that's cool you know mm-hmm. discovering things is cool so honestly if we can learn to observe that's already observe and honor huh. right not just observe but observe and honor okay yeah. oh this is what they need and any time in my life where i've been confused about something when my kids are doing I, i google them. it yeah. and it there's always a reason yeah. like even them being sort of hyper before bedtime i read that uh, that after evening when you become hyper it releases melatonin in mm. your body which that you know is some people sleep. take that yeah. helps you to sleep similarly sugar like mm-hmm. i read that there there have actually been a lot of studies that children uh, young children 
children love sugar because it uh, acts like a painkiller for their body because they have lots of bumps and mm. you know falls and things like that so it's actually something a body needs so yeah. if you allow them to eat whatever sugar they want they'll actually grow out of it by adolescence isn't that shocking yeah. <laughs> but to me it's always like wow like they were sent with this memo yeah. of everything they need and all we need to do is observe facilitate and honor yeah. you know and when safety comes in we have boundaries you know when safety comes in we step in and of course along the way they make mistakes right Absolutely. so being able to observe reflect oh this is what you wanted this is what you like like really that's to me that's the core of my parenting like if you ask me what i do on a daily basis this is really all i do you know so basically this is in like this is very simple but hard to do i completely yeah, why why do you think it's hard what what makes it hard um because it's hard to be consistent with this i feel you know like i think that is where your own um personal i think would do in innate responses aapko mile hue hote hain na which you had received as a parent, yes. as a child growing up at times you know you see that coming in and that you have to take that back in yes. so i guess that is the hard part because maybe hum logo hamare parents like they were very well intentioned in their own ways they had their limited resources but hamare liye tareeke ye nahi the you know so that at times comes i'm kyunki aapne kaha na ki observe what they need and honor it right like i'm at the back of my mind thinking about jaza because <laughs> um with it's it's different you know like aapko ek taraf aap 250 bachchon 300 bachchon ke sath school chala rahe hain and you want to make sure that you uphold the same values that you often talk about aap to bol bol ke you're a broken record <laughs> and you know you have to make sure ke aapke ghar ke andar to wo bilkul absolutely chalni chahiye na wo values and you have to do that but jab wo hum kapde choose karne par aate hain and she throws massive tantrums ke ye nahi pehna you know ya yeah, she's one and a half and wo fixate ho jayegi ki ye jo shalwar hai ye hi sar pe pehni hai trouser sar pe pehna hai so you have to communicate yeah. you know so at times you like yeah, bas pehen lo na <laughs> you know like get it over with i so, know it's such a challenge the age of one and a half to three yeah. your child is your therapist they are bringing up all the things <laughs> that make you force you to think and reflect and like observe yourself like what am i doing what yeah. am i saying and it's like you say ke all of that enlightenment you had feels like it's out the window yeah. right uh, absolutely i mean you know and and every child is so different because my son was uh, much easier to parent yeah. and apply these kind of things than my daughter and i think honestly i have this theory that girls and i hear this from my clients that girls are just so feisty there's a reason they come into this world with all of that it's my way or the highway <laughs> because if they didn't they would just get walked all over yeah, the place absolutely. you know so i think they want a- to preserve that part of them as well right hum hum haste bhi hain aur hum sa ghar pe is baat pe because there are so many videos of you know how you are telling people ke bachcho ko praise nahi deni chahiye acknowledgement deni chahiye and all these you know ways that we have read about ke this is the right way to do things um lekin jab khud banda thaka hua hota hai kehta hai ke bahut acha kaam kiya very nice you know a bit i didn't take it and yeah, know. You, you know I so wo ek bar bar you can't remain in form throughout the day even when you know everything right yeah. so no your own triggers keep coming yeah. up your own uh, conditioning and your default you know aapki default setting you keep going back to that that keeps coming up and it's so important to stay compassionate to ourselves when that happens and be like you know what i mean i I feel like I like I I'm still convinced that one of these days somebody is going to make a video of me actually <laughs> talking to my kids and it's like going to end everything. <laughs> like that is and now I'm in Islamabad where like people actually yeah. know me. It's really horrible. And um, like the other day I was saying to my son my brother would come over and his son and the twins just do not get along the moment he yeah. enters they close up their room they lock up their toys and they're like we are just That, running away. Yeah. And he's just like he's 3 he just wants to they're his superheroes you know he wants to play with them and it's so uh, it's, it's just so frustrating for me right and yeah. also like then there's my brother who's like hmm so you respect will be right and then i'm saying to my kids i'll buy you any toy from one shop let's go to one shop. and they they in the meantime like okay let's go to one shop and i'm like no but we have to share and they're like no no we're not going to share but now we have to go to one shop so they don't even get the under concept of bribing you yes. know but yeah i mean we resort we resort to these things you know that's part of being a cycle breaker and yeah. a, a learning you know i think we have our theoretical frameworks and we want to honor them and we try to uphold them that's the best thing you know at least hum we 
know that this is what we aspire towards yeah. but we are going to have our weak moments during the day as well and um, i think isi ke upar baat ho rahi thi because a lot of us who have our children within the system i know ki jaza is going to come my nephews come to the school you have your children our coordinators teachers people who have been with us for so many years you know and agar wo bechare bachche koi galtiyan karte hain to they like oh iska bachcha galti kar raha hai you know like and i feel a fear for jaza because when she is going to come to the school and if she turns out to be a nasty one you know or if she turns out to be or she is just being a kid. right yeah right so phir uh, mujhe i think this is something that you mentioned to nida and i really liked it so i'm just going yeah. to quote it and you build on it that just because they are someone's children who has tried to you know improve on their own learning child education may parenting it doesn't really mean they're not children right yeah, they're going exactly. to be children they're going to go through those developmental stages that we talked about and yeah. actually even when parents tell me ke, oh my god my kid is so badtameez yeah she's having these big feelings and i'm like oh that means you're doing a great job you're making them feel safe yeah. right because when we make our children feel safe is when they go through those developmental mm. stages like normal right otherwise we would just have very compliant robots mm. and they wouldn't but yeah it's 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 a huge struggle when you know I mean I feel bad for my own kids sometimes and I ask them like you know uh, how do you feel about this like you know people might have expectations and I don't think they really get it for the for the time being they're just kind of like you know who they are who they are but I think this uh, on some level all parents can relate to this because all parents have eyes on them hmm. you know agar aap apne in laws ki taraf jaate hain agar aap hmm. aap rehte hain apne in laws ke sath ya fir apne behan bhai ya fir like for you the school and everything they we always have eyes right yeah. and it is so hard to just tell your kid why can't you make me look good you know <laughs> and 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 you know this struck me the other day ke how much of some things we want our kids to do are more about us, us than them because yeah. uh, yahya was uh, you know my helper just had a baby and he kept taking a lot of his toys and wanting to give yeah. to the baby and my first instinct was ke don't give all your things <laughs> you know but then i was like wait a second he's sharing yeah. and uh, you know we want we encourage kids to share and how is nice to share and now i'm going to stop him yeah. because nobody is watching and nobody is going to appreciate that he's sharing yeah. but when he's fighting with my nephew and not sharing then i'm like nee share karo share karo yeah. you know so much so ke i i'm ready to drive him right so so much of this is about me and how much how i want to come across yeah. right yeah. so until we're able to like kind of look in the mirror which is really scary you know like who wants to look in the mirror like it's so much easier to point <laughs> no, fingers yeah so um yeah i think it's that's the hardest thing about respectful parenting that you're constantly having to look at yourself and maybe sometimes not like what you see and stay brave and be like you know what i'm still a good person like yeah. even if i'm making these mistakes even if i'm screwing up that this i'm not a bad person i think um obviously for me and mere liye to wo um I came from a position of like when I had a child, I was like, you know, I've studied so much about it. I will be, you know, doing a good job at it. And it started off as trying to perfect things, and that was the biggest mistake mm. you make as a parent, right? To make sure everything goes by the book, type A personality, pehle hi, and then you want to ensure that all of those things are happening. And then soon I realized, okay, this is only creating chaos in my life, and I'm just. very stressed about the idea of parenting so someone said to me there is a concept called good enough parent you mm. have to be a good enough parent and you have, it's all and none to hai nahi na parenting mein so they will be uh, um you know watching tv more than you want them to they would be cleaning up sometimes they would not be cleaning up they would be eating well and then they would not be eating well but on most of the days you need to be giving your best right yeah. and that's for me it's good, like enough. good enough you know it's being a good enough parent is important acha so kind of um moving to another tangent and that is kind of related to yahi um tantrums and having strong will and then saying no to things you know right and we being respectful towards that because as adults we also say no and we also have opinions and we are feelings about we have strong feelings about things that are important to us so um what's the most respectful way to handle tantrums right do level ke tantrums hote hain ek hota hai personal level pe tantrums like the child is so upset about something that's not related to any other person but just because they want something or you may not get listening to them and all of that what's the most respectful way to do that and secondly when the uh, the, the entire conflict is, involves another child or someone like maybe a cousin a sibling kya karna chahiye yeah i think that's a that's going to be a lot of people's favorite question <laughs> and uh 
you know it's not limited by age even so mm. you might even have like a 10 year old or even a 12 year old having a lot of what we call big feelings mm. right mm. Uh, the reason i don't like the word tantrum is because it's not something we use for adults mm. and if we did people would be offended mm. right like if, I, if if somebody said you just threw a tantrum like it, that person would be offended yeah. so uh, we just say like having big feelings or being very very dysregulated and there's two kinds of dysregulations there's one where the child is you can see that they are very much in fight and flight mm. like they're arms are flailing they are screaming the tears are streaming down like they it's such a bodily experience that anything you say at that time is not going to be helpful yeah. so at that time it's best to kind of what we call hold space for them so just stay present make eye contact a lot of like really jaise uh, kehte hain cues of safety wale verbal mm-hmm. cues theek hai like you know there's a slight smile on your face like you're not looking scary you're mm. not looking irritated frustrated which is really hard mm. as a cycle breaker parent because wo jo bacche ki thi sari feelings hoti hain wo aksar logon ko mm. trigger karti hain they trigger your own fight and flight mm. so definitely staying aware of your own bodily symptoms ki aapke sath kya ho raha hai just noticing those symptoms like oh i'm starting to uh, feel a little resentful and i'm starting to i'm wanting mm. to yell or scream like that's important to pay mm. attention to your own cues and if you feel like you are going towards uh maybe hurting the child or being loud yourself dysregulated yourself then it's best to take space to phir aap khud hi thoda sa jo hai na dusre room mein chale jaye keeping the child safe like you can put them in a cot mm. or if the room is safe or you can obviously ideally ask another adult to take mm. over mm. if they are able mm. to right or uh, like for me and my husband mm. we can observe the other person and be like i think you need a break yeah. and so just send the other person for a break so yeah. so first step is really ki hum apne aap ko self regulate kar sakte so over time you uh, practice this many many times with again self compassion sometimes mm. you will end up yelling it's okay just move on you mm. know forgive yourself move on apologize to the child but when you're able to stay regulated then you keep sending those safety cues with your body language and eventually when you can see that the child is feeling a little ready mm. to hear words then you can say something like I'm here. Do you need help? Hmm. Can I help you? So uh, they might like Yahya does this where he likes to have his own space when he's having hmm. big feelings. He doesn't want me to interfere a whole lot, hmm. but I still try to stay close. So um, at some point he would go in the room and lock the door, and I would slip my fingers from under hmm. the door just so he knows that I'm there, hmm. even if he, uh, you know, because that's what we want. That's yeah. what they need. They yeah. need to know that okay, even when I'm at my worst, somebody still somebody's loves me. Yeah. You know, somebody's yeah. there and they love me. And so it's the same for older kids, younger kids, whatever their age. And so the idea is that through your own self-regulation, through your own vital signs being calmer, we send that energy to the child. This hmm. is called co-regulation. Yeah. So now you've managed to. send your own calm to the child and you'll see them de-escalating mm. this has also been studied like they have kids hooked up to wires and they can see when the parent is regulated and stays regulated mm. and sends cues of safety to bachcha khud aisa aisa regulate hona shuru ho jata hai and once they are regulated then we can have a conversation but i wouldn't try to have a conversation before this you mm. know like nahi lekin aapko ye nahi karna chahiye tha aapko wo nahi karna chahiye tha so when two children are together and this is happening same thing like mm. we would separate them mm. first of all we would separate them like i was telling you my nephew and the twins to yeah. ऐसा जब हुआ है सो आई जस्ट हैड टू सेपरेट देम एंड बी लाइक आई थिंक वी नीड अ ब्रेक यू नो एंड जस्ट गो टू द अदर रूम विद द चाइल्ड एंड सी रिपीट द होल थिंग एब्सोल्युटली एंड लाइक इफ दे वर फाइटिंग ओवर समथिंग दैट थिंग जस्ट गेट्स आउट ऑफ द पिक्चर फॉर अ बिट या आई वी कैन से के लेट्स यू नो लेट्स फाइंड अ सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस व्हेन एवरीबॉडी इज फीलिंग अ लिटिल बेटर Mm. you know so it's not like a punishment i'm taking this away yeah. because you guys you know it's not like that it's yeah we're going to come back to this but first we need to feel better everybody looks like they need a break kyunki aam taur pe ye hota hai ek bachcha jab rota hai to phir dusra bhi zara zyada you know fight or flight mein chala jata hai so it's just ke hum keh rahe hain let's take a break and then we'll come back to it and normally when we come back to it and i say to them you know what's the solution here they're able to come up with some kind of a solution and yeah. many times they even forget what the yeah. thing was because it was really just a function matlab badon ke sath bhi aisa hota na aap itna ladte hain kisi se aur phir jab aap dono thande ho jate hain you're like hum kis bare mein lade the like we don't even mm. know you mm. know yeah. so sometimes it's just that yeah. but sometimes it really just sucks like the way my nephew and uh, my sons are like they just every time they would meet there would be a lot of dysregulation <laughs> <laughs> and me and my brother were both like how how long can we last yeah. before we have to leave and so we had to do the that for a short while yeah. alhamdulillah my brother was very understanding like he was never like yeah. you know why aren't you controlling your kids or is tarah ka kuch bhi nahi tha even though i'm sure in his mind he was like what the heck is she doing <laughs> like, you know what kind of parenting is this but he never said anything yeah. and so we had to manage our meetings but over time when they noticed that the adults are staying regulated they were able to work through it and now alhamdulillah they're fine he's they go, he got a little bit older maybe took yeah. 6 months they're fine now so it's always like a process right it's yeah. something that they also understand that this is the process that we are going to follow 
as we encounter conflict with yeah. ourselves or like otherwise and maybe this is how the disposition a lifelong disposition is built right yeah. um and coming to the cousin uh, you know rivalry and everything even just yesterday you know ye jo aapka aakhri wala wo patience wala hota hai na that my nephew was he's six and just like one and a half and Oh, he was on a swing and just I was just saying jaza, <laughs> jaza you know <laughs> like she wanted a turn and I'm going I said I'm going to just hold on and I'm not going to intervene I think she said it 10 times you know and he was just like you know five more minutes I'm like in my head I'm like she doesn't understand five more minutes you know yeah. just stop but I didn't want to intervene but 10 times I was saying bol diya na I just went and I picked her up and I'm like okay we're going now <laughs> and at that time he also realized he's like okay I know and, but it's hard it's, it's hard, hard to uh, not intervene it's hard to not fight their battles It's hard. Yeah, it's very very hard, especially when we this uh, tricky dynamic and yeah. like she's a girl, he's a boy, he's older. Our brain immediately goes to the prototypes that yeah. we have for men, girls, boy, you know, like also that. E- even if she was a girl, yeah. I think you would have a lot of feelings about it, but especially I think when इस तरह की डायनामिक आ जाती है ना कि एक बच्चा जरा ज्यादा हेल्दी है जिसको हम कहते हैं ठीक है या फिर एक बड़ा है एक छोटा है एक लड़का है एक लड़की है सो आर ब्रेन ऑलवेज गोज एयर एंड वी गो इन टू वॉट वी यू नो वी कॉल इट मामा बेयर मोड राइट एंड एज मामा बेयर इट इज योर जॉब टू यू नो टू सूप इन रेस्क्यू सॉल्व राइट लाइक दैट इज योर जॉब इज अ मामा बेयर but i mean do our kids need mama bear every single time yeah that that's the main thing right because mujhe to um for me like i also when i did it now then i i'm it's hard to know things and then you know varna to banda ke chalo bhai khatam bas but you mm. also have to live up to your own standards at all times so why when i did it i also then went to them like you know you need to understand this is not me being doing favoritism because wo meri daughter hai aur aap log you know nephews ho mere liye to aap sab ek jaise ho but it's just that she is younger you guys are much older she doesn't have a language as yet you know and you guys do so she wouldn't understand when you're telling her ki for 5 minutes aur agar aap bade hote aur aap chote hote ye bade hote i would have done the same it's not about the relationship you know but you have to justify yourself so much apne liye bhi un bachchon ke liye bhi yeah. that it does become like a bit of an exhausting process but coming back to the mama bear thing you know because that's like my new favorite topic when it comes to <laughs> uh talking about respectful parenting and at the same time being very mindful ke hum us direction mein to nahi chale jaye where we don't build our capacity the capacity of our children to uh fend for themselves mm. you know, or just be brave right yeah. and one of our parents at the school mahnood she has brought this topic up a couple of times like ek dafa in one workshop and then in another one a support group and it just got me thinking you know it's a very valid concern that when we are really holding the space for our children in such a um, mindful manner and also in such big ways where we are really respecting our child um and we uh, they know that they'd be safe with us but the world out there is a bit of a nasty place you know it's not mm. the safest thing to happen to you yeah. and i uh, when i look at the children in the school as i f- as well i feel like children have it harder than we do right as adults maybe we might be feeling certain things but we don't say out a lot of hmm. things because we want to be we want to portray honestly it's more like you know we are protecting ourselves by not being bad to other people because yeah. we we want to uphold our own images and also and since children don't have those images from the, from the get go unke filters bhi nahi hote so they were very mean to each other and they say the nastiest of harshest of things they exclude they um at times also resort to physical you know uh, um i don't know jitne chote hote hain ya confrontations physical confrontations bhi hoti hain it's very hard to be a child and us sab ke liye um i feel ke jo bachche galiyon mein bade hue hote hain they are so like ready for all of it and i remember i took one of my children to the park and wo dare dare saath saath acha kon mere saath aa raha hai is pe baithne ke liye acha aap ruk jaye wo aa jaye mere saath this idea ke someone needs to be hmm. with me as i'm going to go on a swing on a slide and then a child came i think he was um, you know matlab ek bachcha tha maybe he was raised on the streets ya zyada usme confidence hai bhagta hua aaya apna aaram se usne liya line shine tod ke aur chala gaya you know he didn't care that much and i for a moment became envious i'm like oh my god i wish you know they had this confidence to just go and take it chalo line na break karta but at least ye jo bar bar andar andar ghuste hain ke nahi koi saath ho have we done this to them ya where have i gone wrong with anything ki bachche itne wo kyun nahi ho pa rahe you know so how do we make children resilient while still being respectful is my big question these days yeah i think that that is uh, definitely the most asked question as well because um, we've lived in this world long enough now where we're like man it's a tough place like you know especially women who've been married and they're mm. like man like 
you know once you get married or uh, you know you have to deal with all sorts of people it's it's so tough and so there's definitely this concern so i think the first question would be so what does build resilience like what do we know from science like what builds resilience what builds a resilient brain mm. so um this is thank thank goodness we've figured it out and mm. we don't have to and we know from all of that from the research and from the science that what builds a resilient brain is having parents who are observing you reflecting you and facilitating you Yeah. that is what builds a resilient brain so let's say there's a child who falls theek hai wo gira hai and there's one kind of parents who's parent who's like kuch nahi hua khade ho jao right or there's another kind of parent who just ignores the whole thing mm. happened and the child always looks back at you mm-hmm. if, what was that mm. right and now our job as fair reflectors is to reflect exactly mm. what happened which is you fell mm. right i'm not even going to say oh no you got hurt oh my god now there could be another kind of parent mm. who's like hi allah mera chanda beta <laughs> hai kya ho gaya idhar you know so yeah. all of these are over reactions or, or under reactions yeah. they are not reflective of what's actually happened yeah so a, re- a parent who's raising a resilient child is just going to say that much like you fell looks yeah. like you fell yeah. and then the child now has space to share their true emotions ke if i fell am i really okay Am I not? Yeah. So many times he might be like, "I'm okay," and then run off. Yeah. Okay, which means really he is yeah. okay. Yeah. Other times he might cry a little bit and be like, "No, this hurts or that hurts." And so you provide the assistance that is according to the hurt. Hmm. Okay, if they need a bandaid, you give a bandaid. Whatever it is, yeah. if they need to rest a little bit, they rest a little bit. And this is really it. You hmm. know, this is what builds resilience. Now, in the situation that you're telling me, where kids are being kids, hmm. okay, they're pushing each other, they're being mean to each hmm. other. and the kid goes home mm. to the parent and says aaj saira said to me she doesn't want to be my friend mm. and now where does the mom's brain go <gasps> my poor child Dad. so lonely mm. you know like that happened to me nobody wanted to be my friend now mom is going to a totally different place yeah. that's not where the, this child is yeah. if we are raising a child with respect we can have faith that we are enough theek yeah. hai now this mom might then call the school or show up and be like kisi ne mere bacche ko ye kyun gaya theek yeah. hai yeah. this is an overreaction from the child's perspective and not at all what they need what they would need is i remember once ami said to me when he came home from school in the us he said um I don't know. I forget the kid's name, but let's just call her Sammy. Okay, mm. so Sammy didn't play with me. She only played with me outside, but she didn't play with me mm. inside. And I was like, Sammy didn't play with you outside. She played with you only inside. No, no, no. She she didn't want to play with me inside. She played with me outside. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I understood wrong. You're mm. saying she played with you outside, but not inside. Mm. Yes, she didn't play with the Lego. And and so of course my mom brain is who is this Sammy and why yeah. didn't she play with my <laughs> poor kid inside as well the mama bear <laughs> why didn't she reject right so the mama bear is coming in and he's like yeah she didn't like the Lego and I was like so you were sad that Sammy didn't play with you he was like she didn't like the Lego yeah. and I was like oh so uh, she she didn't like the Lego because I'm following like yeah. I'm trying to stick yeah. stick st- st- stick with the script which yeah. is what is he saying what is his experience. and he's like yeah she only likes big legos not small legos and these were very small legos yeah i was like okay so how do you feel about sammy and he just ignores me <laughs> he's like i was done with sammy <laughs> two minutes ago you're still talking about sammy <laughs> so so you see that was really not a case now yeah. if he, he every time he comes to me and i'm like oh my god sammy did this and that he's going to pick up my yeah, vibe. he's going to pick up my you know what do i do yeah. up next time even if sammy does something small or something it's going to be big in his head yeah. cuz i have made it big yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so instead of giving him any tools or skills for managing his friendships i have decided that i am going to manage them for him yeah. and that's not helpful. helpful theek hai so there's a there's a fine line between supporting our children and rescuing them yeah. and i think that parents of our generation get triggered because we were never supported yeah. agar hum ghar aake batate the na flan yeah. mein ye kaha hai to hamare parents kehte the acha to fir tumne kuch kiya hoga na aage se yeah. you know aur tum ho hi aisi yeah. tum pata nahi bahut yeah, other, other way round as well do lagao wala bhi chalta tha exactly that's the other one why can't you defend yourself exactly yeah. a lot of dads still say yeah. that like they ask me ke why can't we tell our kids ke aage se aur zor ki lagani thi you know so i'm like yeah i hear you and i understand you and that's not i mean it's a question of what our children need to be hmm. resilient hmm. and rescuing their parents rescuing them does not make them resilient hmm. it hmm. makes them dependent on that 
right yeah. now this this is one aspect of it ki every time our child struggles we are able to support them and facilitate their struggle that's one one aspect and the other aspect is we ourselves are not a source of toxic stress to mm. them right the sa- home is a safe environment mm. the biggest threat to children's resilience is sadly their own, own home houses, environment yeah. and their own parents yeah. you know so that would be my first concern Okay, uh, I mean, I have a very unpopular opinion that when a un- when a woman comes from an abusive home, her husband is abusive. I, I'm like, I'm sorry. There's no okay, things are fine. Go, jayengi, say, go, jayengi. No, I don't believe that. Yeah. And in the meantime, the child's brain is being affected. Yeah. It's a growing brain that's yeah. being affected. You know, so. I feel like the focus has become a bit weird where mm. parents are of because of our own experiences we're so focused on rescuing our yeah. children from others yeah and that we Let might we forget not, that uh, they need to be first exactly and we're worried for our own selves yeah. yes and we're worried ke hum jo kar rahe hain wo to unko bahut soft bana dega this yeah. does that make sense yeah, yeah, yeah. like so what makes people soft is having parents who are never there for them yeah. like some of the softest people i know are 70 80 year olds jinko aap itna sa bhi keh de to unki feelings bahut zyada hurt ho jati hai yeah is is aren't they the yeah, same? Yeah. <laughs> that's softness <laughs> unka mood off ho jata they have like no emotional regulation you know allah bless them i i get it yeah. but they are some of the softest <laughs> people i know <laughs> That's true. So, how, what is the toxic? What is that tro- toxic stress at home that the child needs to be rescued from first and foremost? Like, what are the indicators of toxic toxic stress being present at home? Yeah. So, toxic stress. There's three kinds of stress. There's tolerable stress and there's positive stress. So, look at that situation of your uh, classmates mm. being mean to you or saying something unkind to you. That's either positive stress or tolerable stress positive mm. stress is ke something that can help you build resilience mm. especially in a school like this mm. where teachers are observing and supporting mm. right mm. Uh, i mean i'm going to assume that if two kids are fighting or three are fighting they're going to seek the ch- teachers help mm. or the teachers are going to help them so that kind of or agar wo parents ke paas bhi jate hain to parents can also help them mm. i mean my kids have come up to me i remember i used to ask hosna how was your day at school when she was in preschool and she would say today is great jarin smack me mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. once you know <laughs> and i was like oh so Yeah, smacks you every day. <laughs> uh, but I get it. Yeah, I was also yeah. three, and I know that three-year-olds do hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it it's not uh, it. it I have been on the receiving end of it where my kids have actually they have been on the receiving yeah. end of it because you know they're mashallah regulated enough not to use hitting as mm. a thing uh, but they get hit by others yeah. and yeah. I'm I always reach out to the teacher and the parents and I say let me know if we, if you need some help yeah. you know yeah. so that's one thing ke that main ye nahi keh rahi ki aap bachcho ko chhod de unke haal pe wo jo marzi kare no that's not what I'm saying I'm saying the support is there but then the other aspect of toxic stress is ke somebody is totally ignoring them mm-hmm. so, uh, emotional neglect right mm. so the children are maybe being being fed they have their you no know, kapde hain education hai sab cheez hai but parents are not able to have any time to listen to them mm. to understand them and there's like a lot of what we call authoritarian parenting mm. aise karo aise na karo mm. you know that kind of thing mm. and it could be the extreme as well where parents are very permissive, permissive jo marzi hai karo yeah, yeah, right there's yeah. no uh, there's nobody like parents are not very interested in what the child is doing mm. so these are uh, the common ones and i think that obviously there is domestic violence which mm. unfortunately is too common in our homes uh, even for the especially for the for the women mm. like they are even if the domestic violence is not directly by the husband it's maybe by the in-laws mm. you know which is an emotional vo- violence system exactly. like zich karna tang rakhna exactly. you know, mentally wo- And they really, yeah. they really get that from their mother. They can feel their mother's stress, mm. you know. So, fear and childhood are not compatible with each other, mm. you know. They, because when a, a brain that is in survival mode, fight and flight, is not learning, mm. it's not growing. वो सारे centers बंद होते हैं. जैसे आप उन बच्चों की example दे रही थीं जो who are very like confident, let's say the street kids, <laughs> yeah. but they have grown up with fear. Yeah. You know, that is that is what has matured them ahead of time. Yeah. And so it's actually incredibly sad yeah. that that's happened. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Are there any battles that parents should fight for their kids? Yeah, I think when there is genuine because now these days this word bullying is you know uh, being thrown around mm. so much. So I think we should we should talk more about first of all what bullying is mm. that it's repetitive behavior by the same person to the same person, mm. right? Or by the same group. With the same person, mm. so it's ये नहीं कि एक बच्चे ने एक बच्चे को कुछ push किया yeah. या कुछ तो वो bully बन गया. Like yeah. I would not use that word bully. I try to use it very sparingly. Yeah. And then also just to not demonize children. Like if we're gonna parent this way and teach this way, we have to accept that all children are on the fitra. All children yeah. are worthy of love. Yeah. So even that child who's being a bully, this is so triggering <laughs> for people. But 
that child probably needs more help. more help yeah you know yeah. that child needs more assistance yeah and what is going to not not make them a bully is when we start to bully them mm. so the answer to bullying is not us bullying, bullying the, child, the child yeah it's seeking which, proper help for the family exactly. for the child exactly to get pa- past that pattern right exactly. you want that pattern to break not the child to be eliminated yes exactly from that equation. people keep sending me these videos of i don't know when some kid is beating up the other kid and they're like you know don't you think this kid deserves punishment like koi to situation hongi na just my child deserves punishment and i'm like it depends on what we want yeah. if we want to get revenge so that we can feel good then sure yeah. you know but if we want to help, help this yeah. child not hurt other people aaj to wo bachcha hai na ek din wo aadmi banega aur wo aur logon ko grander scale pe hurt karega yeah. right but right now we can help him we yeah. have the resources and the time and space to help him where is this behavior coming from wo aise paida to nahi hua tha na yeah. what is happening in his home what is happening around him for him to act this way so this is a this is a, an approach i think that's very triggering for people because mm-hmm. they just want ke- they want a quick solution and especially like in a school place like school it becomes even harder because you don't have that time to you know also fix things slowly things don't change overnight yeah. right if if someone has developed this thing a pattern where they are hurting other people it's not just going to be one day and they're going to be fine yeah. you have to has to be a slow process and everyone has to be understanding of it but yes. unfortunately at times you don't have that time when you are in a social yeah. space you and know? even so resources everyone needs to come together to own that child first before we uh, you know like do anything matlab it's easier to say okay now you're expelled but it's harder to really w- walk with them through this journey and walk the family through this journey um, always the hard one but I, what would what would we do what would we accomplish when we expel such a child just, we have just yeah. sent him in the future yeah. where he is definitely going to be hurting more <laughs> someone people. else yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know so uh, th- i i love what you said about every everybody kind of coming together yeah. and being the family being the surrogate family for the child yeah. who he's obviously not having that at home or something allah yeah. jaane you know everybody yeah. has things happening yeah. and so what is this child needing uh, from the school and from the family and from other families that are the victims okay. or are feeling so you yeah. had asked ke, when can parents be rescuers yeah. so i'm saying ke, in this regard like parents can definitely come and talk and say ke, listen this is happening over and over we want to know what kind of action is being taken yeah. you know but at the same time i i would i would greatly urge the parents to remember ke removing this child getting rid of them is not going to get rid of the problem hmm. you know we, we're still stuck with that child in this world and they could ca- cause more harm you know yeah. they will cause more harm yeah. the more they get suspended yeah. eliminated right so are there other ways that we can support this child yeah. while also talking to our child so yeah. i feel like there are ways i think there are ways definitely when you get talking to the family about it and trying like you start with supporting the family and meeting them often and trying to understand if things are getting better at home because hum to khair school mein yahi bolte hain ki it will become a safe place if everyone starts working with you know their respective families with their children so naturally it, it will become like a more compassionate place altogether rather than just saying ki usko nikal dein ya hmm. usko theek kar dein because har koi apna apna thoda thoda share agar kar le uh, which i understand ki kabhi kabhi nahi itna aasan hota jitna hum hope kar rahe hote hain and jo baat ki hai na ki people when when it comes down to stuff like toxic stress unfortunately are uh, our societies understanding of it is only abuse right like um मार धाड़ तो नहीं हो रही इमोशनली अब्यूसिव फैमिली के इन्वायरमेंट तो नहीं है बट नॉट गिविंग योर चाइल्ड टाइम द ड्यू देर ड्यू शेयर ऑफ टाइम इज ऑल्सो अब्यूज यू नो एंड दैट इज जस्ट द मोस्ट अंडर रेटेड अब्यूज एवर जहाँ पे आप बच्चों के लिए यू आर नॉट एबल टू बी देयर फॉर दैम एक चीज़ और नो समथिंग काइंड ऑफ लिंक टू इट एंड आई वुड वॉन्ट टू नो योर टेक ऑन इट एज वेल इज हाउ मच शुड यू बी इन्वॉल्व इन योर चाइल्ड्स लाइफ in their leisure time let's say academics i understand ke kabhi aap if a child needs your facilitation then you need to be there for them some children are more independent apna kaam wagaira kar lete so that's one part of it but don't ki leisurely activities and engagements that they're playing together or whatever ya khele khel rahe how how do you in get involved do you get involved or not do you watch from afar what helps the most um i think with different ages it changes but definitely i mean across the board the answer is definitely yes even ch- even teenagers even 18 year olds uh, i tell parents the kids parents are like wo to bas video games khelte hain ya fir unke dost aa jate hain so i'm like go sit with them and they're playing video games just sit with them for 5 minutes even and uh, you know just be like 
द स्टॉक ही यू नो क्रीपी स्टॉकर के आई एम हेयर यू नो इट्स नाइस टू हैव सम ऑन ऑब्जर्विंग यू राइट बट वन देर यंगर ऑफ कोर्स दे दे वॉन्ट सो मच ऑफ आर सो इफ इट्स अ हेल्दी रिलेशनशिप इट्स अ हेल्दी कनेक्शन वी स्लोली सी कि वो खुद ही दे बिकम मोर 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 इंडिपेंडेंट राइट सो एट दिस पॉइंट द एज इज माई केट्स आर आई रियली हैव टू बैक दैम टू लाइक टू प्ले विद दैम हाँ एंड आई लाइक मैं यू नो कैन आई प्ले क्रिकेट के बदलू एंड देर दे लाइक दी मामा आपकी बॉलिंग है वट एवर यू नो सो अ लॉर ऑफ इट फॉर यंगर वन देवर यंगर was uh, definitely observing mm. and sitting close and observing this is something that uh, that same uh, the author of the book mm. that i mentioned mass agarbar she recommends is observing your children and uh, when they're ready to engage you they'll say something yeah. they like they'll say like here's a ball so yeah. she says even when they give you a ball don't do anything with yeah. the ball let them tell you what to do with the ball yeah. so play is really their uh, agenda it's their territory so let them teach you what to do like even if they say to you mama you pretend to be a bear mm. i don't know what what a bear does what does a bear do mm. you know so let them take charge and that's amazing and powerful and extremely therapeutic and mm. one of my favorite kinds of therapy for children play therapy is from this guy called Gary Landreth and the way he did play therapy his videos are mm. on youtube it's amazing i think all parents should watch the way he is with the children it's amazing like just letting them be fully in charge you know yeah. and imagine is there something that you like to do like i don't know painting or like what do you think is like your leisurely activity mine i would love to say painting but i don't know how to paint so okay. i like the idea of it but okay. i'm just working usually <laughs> i don't do leisurely, leisurely activities us tarah se but just going out is something that okay, i enjoy okay so yeah. uh, so yeah let's say let's say even if you're reading yeah. right like you probably have to read or yeah. something and then your husband just comes and sits with you or holds your hand and you're like what are you doing and he's like nothing i just wanted to be with you yeah. like isn't that so precious yeah. like that full attention you give someone where even if it's for 5 minutes yeah. so i'm not worried about the time i'm yeah. worried about the the, the, the quality of, of it, it. Yeah. because the kind of quality sometimes parents give their kids is ke uh, you know ab main aa gaya hu aur ab you know i am going to take charge yeah, of this ab kuch karte hain how how main tumhe hawa mein uchha lu aao main ye karu aao main wo karu ya phir tell me how school was yeah. the last thing kids want to talk about is school <laughs> yeah. like literally the last thing. like i spent 8 hours there don't talk yeah, about school yeah. so it's really about the quality giving them the center stage like you know what do you want to talk about yeah. what do you want to do and so like husna loves art and you know painting or yeah. whatever and i just sit with her and observe what she's doing yeah. and acha you did it this way and you did it this way and and i think that's uh, that's really it and yeah. they'll call you for more you know yeah. so isa often calls me and he's like come watch my video game i'm going to fly this yeah, and i'm going and <laughs> half of it i'm like i have no idea what is happening but i keep asking questions <laughs> or he keeps explaining to me but but you know i want to acknowledge how hard this is for cycle breaker parents because again this is not default yeah. this is not something in the history of the world parents have never sat down with kids and stared into their eyes yeah. you know <laughs> stared at them. not a very romantic <laughs> yes relation. parents are, are always like just doing <laughs> stuff ye kar lo wo kar lo aur apna kaam kar liya yeah. exactly so uh, when you first try it it might i think it feels really weird yeah. and uncomfortable and that's not a sign that it's bad it's a yeah. sign that you're not used to it yeah. but uh, you get used to it and you enjoy it and like you can have your cup of chai and just observe them yeah. you know because i think overall the pattern of doing something for the children has always been like keep them entertained you know mm. and that is such a toxic thing that we do for children like even in our, in our preschool this is something that i had to actively fight off ke hum ek activity based school nahi hai you know we're not going to bring fun things for the children to do and make them do fun things we're just yeah. going to and that's what our consultant says the most ke observe you know yes. observe and find patterns of what is happening and build on those patterns by not always bringing things top down for them but kyunki hum log ya to all or none ke itne aadi ho chuke hote hain na ki ya to we at times just go completely uh, you know evolve from our child children's <laughs> life that we we don't you know actively talk to them or with them have conversations ya fir hum aate hain to fir we come from this thing aao main tumhe le jaao aao main tumhe entertain kar lu you know like let's do this thing mm. that i the fun thing that i've got for you so i think yeah. that does dysregulate children you yeah. know that that would that that would make me upset if someone comes and does that to me ke ya to aap hai nahi aur aa rahe to halla gulla okay bas khatam ho gaya you know like i want someone who's more reliable yeah. than that and i'm sure children want the same okay my second last question this is a very interesting podcast i keep on throwing more questions <laughs> maybe maria we need to do this more often right <laughs> whenever <laughs> you feel like ha jab ye koi aur topic aa raha hai mere mind mein let's do it but khair um just my second last question and that is ke um should children play without supervision at any stage of their lives yeah how, what does like supervision really mean when it comes to play supervision means ke um bilkul like uh, in a safe place hmm. maybe uh, right should the adult be sitting with the children at uh, at all times or should they be let to be in their rooms with the doors open kya hona chahiye like how much supervision is healthy 
yeah i think that's such a good question i think again we are the first generation of parents who's like uh, how much should i play with my kid? like i get tired I, and i tell parents it's okay you don't yeah. have to entertain your kids you don't have to be there the whole time i mean think about it humanity would not have survived if, if parents <laughs> felt like they have to entertain their kids yeah. or be present all the time yeah. like theek hai there are some things that we're trying to leave behind but this is something i think that's uh, where you get the fuel for respectful parenting yeah. you are allowed to have boundaries yeah. your children need that independent time they need to explore and safety of course is always important yeah. right so agar itna jaisa jaza hai like you uh. would have to make sure it's like a you know kid proof space uh. and uh, when my kids were all little and they just have a two year age difference so i just got rid of my whole dining table mm. and i made that whole place like a yes space yeah. for them what's a yes space a yes space is this word janet lansbury uses where you don't have to say no to the child okay. because you know the especially the age that jaza yeah. is a date saal ke se teen ke darmiyan this yeah. is when they are coming into their independence they're, yeah. they're discovering what independence is yeah. and that they can say no yeah. so when we say no to them it's taken as a hit every time like how dare you <laughs> like who are you to say no to me like i have free will yeah. you know so having that yes space where there is no opportunity for no yeah. is really really important for them Probably, yeah. so in that yes space there's just like a limited number of toys it's not like overflowing yeah. with toys and they're all kind of kids like household cheese hoti hai na like dekhchiyan chamche yeah, yeah, yeah. fabrics like that kind of thing and then it's closed off so that they what other people might call baby jail mm-hmm. but i tell people like children actually really love small spaces mm-hmm. wo khud se tent bhi banate hain mm-hmm. khud se fortress banate hain you know they actually like in closed spaces make them feel safe yeah so mine overlooked the was connected to the kitchen yeah. so i would be in the kitchen and they would be there yeah. and i could make sure that they're safe yeah. and everything in any case that area space and if i had to go upstairs for a little bit go to the bathroom or something it was fine yeah, five yeah. minutes ke liye yeah. and everything but the when they get older and older you can start leaving them for longer, longer and longer time. periods yeah. and um you know and honestly so much of it is about how we have interacted with them and we've taught them body autonomy right yeah. so even now when my kids are with an adult i know they are safe because ad- and they they will not let anybody touch them yeah. if anybody touches them they're like uh hell no yeah. you know hell no i mean the, their teachers were telling me the same <laughs> thing i was like oh that's good <laughs> they're like they don't let anybody come near them i was like yeah. okay that's good you know so yeah. the way that we have respected their body autonomy they know that nobody is allowed to touch yeah. me so i feel comfortable when they are uh, you know even the twins were almost 7 6 and a half are uh, outside playing i mean outside se murad hai ke ghar ki boundary ke andar hai but you know we have servants in this land mm. so that is something that would have kept me up at night but now i know okay they don't let anybody mm. touch them and mm. that's that has come from us respecting their body, body yeah. right and 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 not using that authoritarian parenting yeah. kyunki agar aap kisi se puche na ki why don't you why didn't when something bad happened mm. to you how come you didn't tell your parents mm. they say because i thought i was wrong mm-hmm. you know yeah. so the whole good touch bad touch really begins with this kind of yeah. parenting ke bacche ke andar confidence ho ki main galat nahi mm-hmm. hu you know and they can go so you know if we have done these things we can let them be independent because yeah. otherwise parenting would become very hard yeah, you know yeah. especially me with four kids i <laughs> i do not have eight eyes like yeah. i literally cannot have eyes on them all the time yeah absolutely and did you take help um, raising them like did you have a nanny or something with them in america no. And, no no <laughs> it was hard i do do not recommend it i don't know i, I feel like i have ptsd from that time <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard like having four kids four and under we didn't have uh, we didn't yeah. have any kids for seven years and we did IVF with uh, for our eldest and then so the last thing we were expecting were four kids in four years Mashallah. you know so mashallah <laughs> at, they were four under four wow and I was alone and um, you know my husband would go to work and it was brutal it was it was really hard I'm there's no way to put it and it was really just survival you know so that yes space was I don't know what I would have done without that. Like I'm still sometimes Janet Lansbury comments on my uh, Instagram or whatever, and I'm like, "You saved my life," <laughs> you know, because that's where I learned yeah. all this stuff from at that time. So uh, I did have a renter who was very, very lovely. Her name is Elizabeth, and yeah. she's kind of our, become a family friend over the years. So over time, I would ask her sometimes, and I was uh, because a I would have to pay her mm. money, which we didn't have on a single income in the US. Yeah, you can't do hard. much. Yeah. Four kids, single income. It was hard to afford help. Yeah. But sometimes she did help me, and uh, she had her own health issues. But honestly, it was better. It was. I I can't imagine what it would have been like if it weren't for her as well. Yeah. So alhamdulillah I had that kind of help. Yeah. But are there any no go or anything that should be there in terms of help that should be avoided as parents? And I know it's a very controversial mm. question to begin with because to each their own kind yeah. of a thing and okay you know if you don't want to keep help you don't keep help if you want to keep help you keep help you don't judge you know all of those things but 
since um, th- uh, I'm I'm saying this and I'm I'll say it very blatantly, you know, because okay. one of our um, <laughs> one of our ex coaches. She was not from Pakistan, right? And she was really upset about this idea, Pakistan ke andar ke. You know, there's just so much help and uh, we used to do things for our children. So, you know, our bond with our children develop very differently. And here, um, it's creating this culture of entitlement where the children look at adults as also at times people who are going to serve them, you know, and that she felt very, um, she felt, she was upset about mm. it you know she said because of that culture when they are at times interacting with teachers and all they want everyone to serve them at all times you know and there is a self reliance hoti hai bachchon ki ya jo kuch cheeze hoti hai i don't know if it's like a uh, job i don't know i don't like the word manners us tarah se yeah. but like you know um sensitivity towards the needs of others wo kabhi kabhi khatam ho jati hai when you are always being so, looked at as the little master okay. you know or mm. those that thing so would there be any um, guidelines on you know if you do need take help from someone in uh, raising your children which is i feel like at times the village you know if you don't have your village you don't have your you know family living with you you definitely can really really benefit from that help but are there any no goes in that area which should be avoided yeah i mean i see her i see her perspective and her concerns i think that they make sense because she's basically saying like you know how do we teach children to have respect for those who serve them yeah. right which is a legitimate question mm-hmm. and and i'm also with you i think parents deserve all the help mm-hmm. that they can get like yeah. over here i have a part time nanny and yeah. of course i have house help as well and it's glorious like yeah. it, it allows me to be the kind Do of so parent much more. that yeah. yeah i mean it's it's just glorious like there's just no other way <laughs> like every day of my life i'm like oh my god like yeah. alhamdulillah so grateful and uh, and i also lucked out with with the people but you know the biggest this is this is not just true for people who give you help yeah. this is true for anyone how do we teach our kids to give respect yeah. by respecting them yeah. but know? is there like also go or no go ke kitna kaam bachon ko kon kon si cheezon mein wo bachon ko help kare kon si cheezon mein nahi kare jaise body yeah. uh, uh, you know autonomy is one thing you yes. know like should they be allowed to change diapers for a long time you know yeah. stuff like that ke bachon ke liye kya cheeze jo hain wahan pe help extend honi chahiye aur kahan pe the parent needs to keep yeah. it more sacred yeah how does yeah. that work i think this is this is so so important i maybe you should do a whole podcast <laughs> on this because there are so many mothers who say to, who are like drowning just drowning right yeah. and i say to them don't you have help they're like ha wo hai lekin main bacche ka sara kaam khud karti hu and i'm like but you're drowning like you need help you know so yeah i think it's a very important question ki kitni wo kare aur kitni aap khud kare i mean first of all agar aapka concern hai diaper change yeah. karne ka i do not believe first of all i do not believe that it is the labor the care taking tasks that build a bond yeah, no yeah. because we have all had that like yeah. we were like nobody is sitting in my office and saying i have a great bond with my mother because you know she cooked great meals for me and changed all her diapers herself no yeah. nobody is saying that all people are people everybody all of my clients who are sitting there in therapy are saying i never felt heard and seen by my yeah. mother because all she ever did was cook and clean me yeah. you know so no th- those are not tasks that build bonds i i don't believe that i mean they could if yeah. they were done. if if you can also do that the, done parts. in the bigger picture huh. of like but yeah. what if you have multiple children and there's a lot of labor yeah. it's very labor intensive yeah. and that labor doesn't allow you to be emotionally present for your children yeah. then isn't it better to let somebody take care of the labor and you take care of the emotional stuff yeah you know absolutely and if you have concerns about uh, changing diapers whatever you can have them do it in your presence, presence yeah. और और मे बी दैट समथिंग यू कैन लाइक अगर बच्चा बहुत छोटा है जिस जिसकी अभी वॉइस डेवलप नहीं हुई है एंड यू नो दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू स्पीक अप फॉर देमसेल्व्स देन दैट्स वन थिंग यू कैन लिमिट टू योर सेल्फ एंड योर स्पाउस बट देयर आर सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स लाइक यू नो चेंज चेंजिंग करना या खाना खिलाना खाना बनाना खाना बनाना इज सच अ बिग थिंग एंड देयर इज अगेन सो मच ग्लोरी अटैच्ड टू होम कुक्ड मील्स व्हिच आई डोंट नो आई इन आर अगेन नोबडी इज सिटिंग इन माय क्लाइंट इन माय ऑफिस एंड सेइंग माय मदर मेड मी होम कुक्ड मील्स ऑल माय लाइफ एंड दे आर व्हाट मेक मी सच अ हेल्दी इंडिविजुअल टुडे नो दे डिडंट डू मच ऑल दोस मील्स यू नो तो अगर तो आप कर सकते हैं तो अच्छा है बट आई वुडंट डू दैट एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ द इमोशनल साइड यस एट द कॉस्ट बिकॉज़ बीइंग अ साइकल ब्रेकर पेरेंट the wo jo self regulation mm. ki hum baat kar rahe the that is hard work yeah. it is really hard work and every time the stress falls on you to wo purani cheeze aap bhul jate hain yeah. you go to the old, old ones. version of you yeah absolutely of my my can't get enough of you and i know bahut lamba such a fun call <laughs> we have gone way over and beyond what i was expecting but that's okay that's fine you know it was a, such an important conversation um so i'll just ask my last question all the main char question pehle kaha tha ki i'm going to ask my last question iske baad well, what's what's the plan like what's the I, i don't know if all of what you have done to the parenting 
uh, what is it called not industry what is parenting <laughs> <laughs> parenting sector okay i don't know what is the right word for it but you have brought in such a sizable change in the way people think and is it actually my podcast the that was with mama she is one of my mentors and she said ke what are the three things that you'd want to change about schools and i said listen schools ko maine nahi change kar sakti you know i can't go and do anything for the schools and shayad koi bhi nahi kar sakta because jo chala rahe hain unka zehen tabhi badlega jab demand badlegi you know warna kyun koi ek pattern chal raha it works for them it's a service they're providing the service जो नीड है उसको वो फुलफिल कर रहे हैं सो जब तक आस्क नहीं चेंज होगी फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स द स्कूल्स आर गोइंग टू बी व्हाट दे आर एंड इट्स सच अ हार्ड टास्क टू चेंज दैट माइंडसेट एंड टू चेंज दैट आस एंड अलहमद लाइफ यू लाइक सिंगल हैंडेडली यू हैव बीन एबल टू चेंज दैट माइंडसेट यू नो सो व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट मरियम या आई थिंक दैट इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट आई टेल पेरेंट्स द सेम थिंग जब मुझे कोई कहता है कि नहीं पाकिस्तान में ऐसे स्कूल नहीं है तो मैंने कहती हूँ कि अब आप तो हैं ना मतलब स्कूल नहीं है लेकिन आप तो हैं बट इट्स सो हार्ड राइट लाइक इवन फॉर मी इवन हेयर लाइक आई वॉज सो स्केयर टू कम टू माई फर्स्ट पी टी एम लाइक आई नो आई एवन हेल्प माई गेस्ट डू होमवर्क आई नो आई एवन डन एनी थिंग सो यू नो इट इज इट इज सो स्केरी टू बी द that kind of parent who's not going to push for academics and nor ask or jiska bachcha jo hai wo ek you know fat fat ye nahi bol sakta ye nahi suna sakta like it's hard to be yeah. that parent right yeah. so it's hard to be that change maker but i do think that you have made a difference and i think you can uh you know inshallah i've i've heard that there are other schools like this opening up or inshallah. at least we're thinking about it so yeah. um so yeah i think i mean people and people say to me that i should open a school and i'm like no i'm just sending everyone <laughs> to adopt and i do not want to open <laughs> when i'm in the parent whatsapp group i do not want to open a, a school i don't know if i'm ready for that level it's hard it is it is, hard. It is really hard because you're dealing with so many right now me and the parents are on the same side yeah. and i get to hear the teachers as well you know so i i really like where i am <laughs> i'm like I get to be the good guy for the teachers and the parents yeah. you know uh, I feel like if I opened a school <laughs> I would have to choose a side It's hard yeah it's very very hard I mean honestly my heart goes out to you and especially being this kind of school which is yeah. different so for me I really uh, I really do want to have like a brick and mortar space where we want uh, you know where we can have workshops where we can have trainings where we can provide counseling to parents <laughs> and where we can um, you know like have a recording studio and make a little films like right now i'm collaborating with a graphic designer who is also in the education industry and he makes these cute little videos uh-huh. and he so he's taking my posts and turning them nice. into videos yeah. so uh, so you know that kind of stuff which allows the work to uh, expand i'm also yeah. you know very close to publishing the book i have finished writing it mashallah yeah and so i'm close to publishing it now and so just really you know bringing this work to more people and making it more accessible like yeah. i'm aware right now okay we are kind of just touching the surface yeah. you know to people who a understand english can read it yeah. and uh, have access to smartphones and things like that like in my ultimate ultimate thing is ke money is not an issue for me yeah. like all of that stuff is taken care of so i can give more of my time to uh, sectors and places where people don't have resources and absolutely uh, and i think thing. one thing that you are already doing perhaps you're not aware of it is that you're building the capacity of parents to be those change makers you know like i literally meet so many people right now who speak your language You know, like they, and they're like Mariam ne ye bola tha you know and then they are telling in different circles because I've been having all these different support groups with parents and other things. So, usme so many people are speaking for you That's on your behalf good. because of the capacity that you have built for them. So, I think you're already doing it, and I just hope it keeps on growing. And yeah. we need more Mariams in this <laughs> country to really bring about the change that we have long. asked for like me to i was too young to even understand what this meant you know when i yeah. was diving and i didn't have a child i was 22 at that time you know mm-hmm. so it was all like just a idea ke aise hona chahiye but when i now meet people at the school even it has changed so much you know pehle log aate the to i would ask them you know because i used to hold all my admission meetings shuru mein khud hi but now it has just gotten too much for me to manage uh, with jaza and you know internal affairs ke sath to ab nahi karti lekin जब कर भी लूँ तो मुझे डिफरेंस नजर आता है कि पहले लोग आके दे डेंट नो वट दे वर लुकिंग फॉर एट दैट टाइम दे वर दे वॉन्टेड मी टू टेल दैम कि अच्छा वट इज़ गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट अबाउट दिस नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वर्क दैट हैज़ गॉन इन टू यू नो जितना हमने बात की है जितना आपने बात की नो पीपल आर कमिंग विद वेरी क्लियर आइडियाज ऑफ वट दे वॉन्ट फ्राम स्कूल एंड दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थिंग्स दैट यू नो वी सेट के पेरेंट शुड बी आस्किंग सो आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट दिस इज हैपनिंग एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम फॉर दिस माई एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ दोज पॉडकास्ट जिसको मैं पहले रिलीज होगी फिर मैं खुद बैठ के सुनूंगी फिर मैं नोट्स बनाऊंगी अपने लिए 
<laughs> and I will go back to those notes often, you know, or I might just WhatsApp you and say, "My yes, please definitely. help me." <laughs> it was it definitely. was a delight. I loved Thank it. So Thank much. you so I, much. I love being here. Thank you. <laughs>